Hello fellow typers, Typing Piper here for an update on my Fox typewriter made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So, as you can see, I did get the new Platin on here. Um, I had to use automotive uh, rubber hose tubing, whatever you want to call it, and um, so far it does work, um, it just, uh, I noticed a few issues after installing it, so I'm going to pop this out here, and uh, there we go. Let's see, light on, okay. And as you can see, the feed rollers underneath are worse than I thought they would be. Uh, a lot of cracks, probably gonna fall apart um, just from normal usage. So yeah, I have a new platen on here and looks like I'm gonna have to switch these out as well. So that's um, eight pieces that need to be redone. Work is never done on this. The other issue I'm having is uh, oh, there goes one of the new feet. The spring. This thing. It will work for uh, a couple of lines and then you hear the spring slip and it unwinds and then I have to go back and redo the whole thing and I haven't figured out how to get this off this whole thing here because I want to take it off I want to open it up uh, see if the spring itself is actually broke uh, if it's just not hooked in correctly and I'm having trouble finding anything online about that. So in the meantime, I just keep winding it up and um, seeing how long it lasts, which is not long. And it's fairly irritating, definitely frustrating. I wanted to use this for um, people to write messages on and stuff at our upcoming wedding, and that's not going to happen. Uh, there's still too much work to be done on this, so looks like I will be using something else for that, um, which is unfortunate. I'm planning on just keeping this as a display piece because, as you can see, it's a really beautiful machine. Um, well built, <laughs> except for the problems that it has. Uh, aesthetically pleasing. I love how the type heads in here are arranged. It's a very unique design. You don't see this anywhere else. And uh, a little bit of uh, polish on here. And uh, there's just so much more to do on here. Also, I need to find something um, to fill these in because whatever uh, white filler they used on these keys has come out on a few, as you can see. So I do want to touch these up, get them looking new again, um, do a little more work on the body, cleaning that, and go from there. But in the meantime, it has new platen. Can't be used. Sucks. So, I'll be working on that in the future. In the meantime, um, well, I should probably explain how I got this on here. Uh, I've heard soap and water to get it on because there is um, wood. It's a wood tube underneath. This is from 1912. And the original design had these 
small nails to keep the rubber from slipping. Uh, I didn't have to use soap and water. Um, all I really had to do was uh, get a few inches on and then it kind of expanded on its own and then I would put uh, push the rest in. And so I trimmed it, um, put the nails in when I got it where I wanted it, uh, put the rest of <clears throat> the platen back together and uh, the the few sheet the the one sheet of paper that I ran through it it was working um, it looked really good and then the spring snapped and uh, back to square one so anyways uh, thought I would share that and these can be redone um, it's just next on the agenda is switching these feed rollers out so once I do that I'll probably clean up the body a little bit more <clears throat> see if I can find anything on that spring and go from there in the meantime uh, keep typing keep on typing right yeah I think that's gonna be my slogan from now on keep on typing <laughs>